Today's meditation is about observing pain and suffering. Now you may be wondering, why on earth would we be meditating on pain and suffering? In Buddhist practice, one of the Four Noble Truths is that life contains suffering. And when the suffering occurs, it's typically because of an insatiable desire or ignorance. To have wants and desires are not inherently bad things. God put, you, put them in you for a reason. However, desires lead to suffering when they're tied to wants that can never truly be satisfied. It is the attachment to pleasure, things, or material goods that leads to suffering. An obsession with an image or to be seen as valuable by others, these are things that can lead to suffering. Ignorance, as I mentioned, also causes suffering. Ignorance in this instance refers to lack of awareness. We tend to think that ignoring what is causing our suffering can be appeased by our insatiable desires. Therefore, contributing to a negative feedback loop of ignorance and desire. And what I mean by this is that you may be ignoring what's causing you pain by obsessively working, shopping, eating, or in some cases, even working out obsessively. But because these obsessions can never truly be satisfied, you end up doing more and more of these things, further ignoring the root cause of your pain. In biology, pain is the way that our bodies attempt to inform us that something needs our attention. Similarly, when it comes to your mental or your mind, suffering is there to let you know that something also needs your attention. If you're like me, maybe you struggle at times to understand what's causing your suffering or your pain. What needs your attention may not always be abundantly clear. Through meditation, observation, and increased awareness, we put ourselves in position for these things that need our attention to be revealed. The divine will show you what needs your attention if you position yourself in the place of receiving and listen. So let's not reflect on what's lacking in our lives, but let's just reflect on the actual pain and suffering itself. What is your pain and suffering trying to tell you? Let's put this into practice. Let's get into a posture of stillness. Be intentional about creating a quiet space around you. Perhaps you can light a candle or incense that will help you be more intentional with your breath. You can get seated in an upright position with your hands in your lap. And try to take some deep breaths from your diaphragm. You'll know that you're breathing from your diaphragm if you put your hand in your stomach and your hand is moving, meaning that you're breathing from your stomach. So just take some deep breaths, about two to four seconds on your inhale and another two to four seconds on your exhale. You may close your eyes. And our centering thought for today is through observation, I'm attracting peace to myself. Through observation, I'm attracting peace to myself. And just be, continue to be thankful for that breath.
And just take a moment to search your intuition, to search your knowing. And just ask the question, what is my pain trying to tell me? What are the things that are going on that need more of my attention? Or perhaps what are the things that require less of my attention? Just ask the question, try not to answer those questions right now. Maybe you need more peace. Maybe you need relief. Maybe you need to release some things. Just continue to focus on your breath. And if you get distracted, you can just come back to your mantra. Your I am. Or you can simply focus on your breath, your in breaths and out breaths. And when the time is right, when you feel most ready, you can just return your awareness to your immediate surroundings. You open your eyes when the time is right. And like we do always, we'll end our practice today with our divine power affirmation. You can repeat aloud after me. There's power in my thoughts because there's power in me. There's power in my words because there's power in me. There's power in my actions because there's power in me. 
There's power in my prayer because God is in me. I am the miracle. I am the light. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.